Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today, a suggested Dot Martin film location vacation. Here's Sarah. Yes. What are we doing today then? A bit different today. What we've tried to do is to take you outside of Port Isaac. Oh, Port when? That's the one. Series 2, Dot Martin. We've taken a good look at it and found some of the film locations outside of the village. We've taken you there and then we try to give you some examples of things to do whilst you're there. Yeah, that sounds interesting. So it's a Dot Martin film location vacation. I think she likes that. Yeah, I think I might use that as a title actually. What do you think? Yeah? Pretty good. In today's video, we will show you some of the locations used in Dot Martin Series 2 that are outside of Port Isaac or Port Wen. The filming took place in Bodmin Parkway, Pentire Farm, Port Quinn and Boss Castle. All of these places are within driving distance of Port Isaac. For each location, we'll give you an idea of how far you would need to travel from Port Isaac. We will also link it back to some of our walk videos and make some suggestions whilst you're there. Our first location is Boss Castle. Boss Castle is approximately 13 miles from Port Isaac, about half an hour by car. We've come to Boss Castle for Series 2. There's two locations here. One is the fish and chip shop that Peter Cronk and his mum runs, and the other one is the village hall where the talent contest is held. Let's go and find them. Thanks to Port Wen Online for helping us find these in 4th Street, Boss Castle. I love the higgledy piggledy roof lines. Look at that window. Up there. It's not even vertical. Amazing. So this is proper old Boss Castle. Look at these houses. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, it looks a bit wonky. Yes! Well, Have you time. seen the bow on it? It's just not straight, is it? I think the name of that one is interesting. Kiddlewinks. Well, the old Cornish used to call an illegal alehouse a kidley. So I wonder if they sold some smuggled brandy and gin in there. So here we have the location that was used for the fish and chip shop. So this property has been used by Doc Martin as a fish and chip shop. But the history of this building was originally that it was a butcher's. It was the butcher's in the village. It was called Jay Cowling and Son. You can see it still has the name of the original butcher's uh, above the door. So a couple of doors down is the village hall. Talent night. Now play school. What is that? It's a little house sparrow. He's making so much noise. Not that little. While you're in Boss Castle, why not drop down the hill to Boss Castle Harbour? What a view! <laughs> Home of the Witchcraft Museum. We visited the museum as part of a filmed walk. I'll add that link to the end of this video. In Boss Castle Harbour there is also the Wellington Hotel, a beautiful place to stay. It is an old coaching inn dating back to the 17th century. We were lucky enough to stay in one of the tower rooms, a very comfortable room. Amazing hotel, it's gorgeous. The hotel boasts of some famous people that have stayed here over the years, including Edward the Seventh, the novelist Thomas Hardy. However, the main appeal of the Wellington Hotel is its haunting nature. There are many recordings of ghosts being seen at the Wellington Hotel. A frocked, coated figure with a ruffled shirt, a ponytail and leather gaiters, much like a coachman or a stableman, has been seen moving across the landing. The apparition of a young girl, seen outside rooms number 15, 16 and 17 on the landings, has been spotted on several occasions passing through windows and doors. And a little old lady has been reported passing through the closed door of room number 9. So, were any of these stories true? Is the hotel haunted? Or was this just a ruse to keep prying eyes away from what was going on at the Wellington Hotel during the heady days of Cornish smuggling? Pentire Farm is used as well. It's over near Polzeff. Pentire Farm is about 6 miles or 15 minutes away from Port Isaac. It's a National Trust location so you can park there 
and visit if you want to. Aunt Joan lives next door to Mr Crap, who blames Dot Martin for not doing more to save his wife. Mr Crap is then in need of Dot Martin when he has a serious farming injury. Hello. While you're here, why not visit Polzeth? Opposite Pentire Farm, follow the footpath to Pentire Haven. From here, it's a short walk to Polzeth. Why not try a pasty whilst you're there? I thought you'd gone off to learn to surf. I run all the way to Pol's F and back for my pasty. <laughs> what you got then? I got a medium steak yeah. from Pol's F Pasty Cellars. Yes. Award winning pasties. Three pounds. Wow. It smells handsome. Smell that. Oh, do you have a look? Yeah. Oh, Quinchman eats way. his pasty in, the bag. It, in the bag. <laughs> so, what do you look for in a good pasty? I prefer short crust to flaky pastry, but that might just be me. So this is a steak pasty. Now, I personally prefer a bit of skirt for my pasty, so you get a bit of the Gives fat a bit with more it as juice, well. doesn't it? a few juices in there, nice. Yeah, gravy. We've got a potato. Yeah. We've got a bit of swede. A bit of swede. Um, Some people know it's turnip. Um, it's got to be sliced, not cubed, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's very nice. Like your granny made them. Well, this one was <laughs> handsome. I think this is a good 9 out of 10. It's one of the best ones I've had for a long time, actually. For Pol's F pasty cellars, very good, very nice. Alternatively, we have a filmed walk on our channel, Passing Pentire Farm, that starts in Polzeth. I'll put the link at the end. The other location that we're visiting today is Bodmin Parkway Railway Station, a beautiful little station. It's where Dot Martin meets his parents. Bodmin Parkway is a station on our main railway line through Cornwall. It's about 16 miles from Port Isaac, about 40 minutes by car. We're here at Bobbin Parkway Railway Station for a scene where Dot Martin meets his parents as they come to stay with him. They arrive here at Bobbin Parkway. My bloody parents. From this station you can catch the beautiful Bodmin and Wenford Heritage Steam Railway to Bodmin. Let's watch the Bodmin and Wenford Steam Train pull away. you could walk to Lanhydrock House. To walk to Lanhydrock House, follow the old driveway for about a mile and three quarters, but it's beautiful along the banks of the River Foy. The house is one of the finest examples of Victorian life. You must visit the kitchen. Covered in copper pans. Isn't that incredible? We've actually done that walk and I'll include the link at the end of the video. Now we're going to go and visit Port Quinn. This little harbour is used when Caroline is breathalyzed. Caroline's the DJ at Port Wen Radio and everybody thinks she's drunk. So she is challenged by PC Milo and breathalyzed. So the film location for that is down at Port Quinn, a couple of miles down the coast from Port Isaac. So we're now in Port Quinn, we're right down on the cove edge. Portquin is a fantastic natural harbour and was once a very prosperous pilchard fishing port. There is a local legend that said the men, the fishermen, went to sea but were wiped out. The entire fleet was completely wiped out by a storm. It's more likely that as the decline in pilchard fishing happened, people moved out of the village. However, it did become deserted. Today, Portquin is primarily a tourist destination. And PC Milo pulls over the DJ Caroline as she's coming down this road. 
and he breathalyzes her. Here, now, Carolyn, you've been down pub of <laughs> I think you've had one too many lager shandies. I'm fine, I don't drink, I don't oh, drink. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm sorry about this, but I'm going to have to ask you to blow in this bag. I definitely don't drink. Although in this video we've been concentrating on series two, I must just mention that Dot Martin does return to Port Quinn in series five for episode eight. So whilst you're here at Port Quinn, make your way up to Doydon Castle. Doydon Castle, a truncated Gothic folly, was built by a successful local businessman, Samuel Simons, in 1827 as a place to entertain friends. It is now a grade two listed building and managed as a National Trust holiday cottage. Dot Martin used this as a film location for an episode where Mrs. Tishel kidnaps baby James. She's having a psychotic episode after self-administering some medication. Isn't that so cute? It does look like a little castle. So that's where the rescue attempt started. And she would have leaned out that window with baby James. And Louisa and Dot Martin would have been down here. In fact, I'm probably stood in the very spot. Dot Martin also declares his love for Louisa. So hopefully you enjoyed our video taking you on a Dot Martin film location vacation. Yeah, she likes that, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, have I said it enough yet? A few times. <laughs> I love the hotel bit. Spooky. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and you really enjoyed your pasty, didn't you? The pasty was handsome. <laughs> so Port Quinn bus cast, explore Cornwall whilst you're here. There's not many YouTube videos on Bobman Parkway Railway Station. If you enjoyed that and you want us to do another example like round a town for instance oh! <laughs> Put in the comments More like this <laughs>